What's going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires, and we're going to be talking about Spin Tires Mud Runner. Now, a lot of the things I'm going to refer to in this video are from something that was posted on SpinTires.nl, and I'm going to link to it in the description box below. We go ahead and get that out of the way right here in the beginning of the video, but Spin Tires Mud Runner. So, it's been pushed back to, um, to November, it was originally supposed to be, uh, to be coming in October, but it was pushed back to November, and we don't know, we don't know anything exact yet, but I am, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that they'll have it out before, you know, before that holiday rush, because I feel like it would be, you know, it would be the smart thing to do on their part, in my opinion. Um, I think on any developer's part, it's the smart thing to do to get their game out, you know, so that it, before the holidays, so they can get, you know, so they can capitalize on that holiday rush. I mean, it means a lot to a developer. So, uh, without any further ado, uh, before going forward, I do want to say that I have not been on this map but one other time, and I don't know where I'm going. So, with that being said, uh, know that I am just kind of driving off into the wilderness with no clue whatsoever, uh, where I'm headed. So, again, keeping that in mind, let's go ahead and, uh, and carry on into the topics we're going to talk about, particularly... Uh, mud runner now a lot of people want to know if mods will work and they'll they're gonna work like absolutely um according to spin tires.nl actually there will be a conversion tool that will be available like right when the game launches so you guys will be good to go when it comes to mods um, and as far as you know getting mods and installing them into the game we would do it through the spin tires workshop as we do now uh, so it'd be super simple no no uh, nothing finicky nothing to mess around with just straight up getting right into the game modding it to your heart's content and uh, and having a blast as we do now uh, with spin tires and spin tires mods now I think also too Something to keep in mind related to uh, to Mud Runner in particular is the fact that when you think about it, when you think about it, there's so many different like there's so many different things right that we do in Spin Tires right now, like in Spin Tires currently, and we want to know if we can do those things going forward, right? Like our variety of what we do in multiplayer, or you know whether you're a rock crawler or a trail rider, like Overlander kind of kind of kind of person, or whether you do logging and things like that. That stuff will all be there. Uh, it, it really will. That stuff will all be there. Um, no question. I, I think, anyway. N absolutely no question. Because if they want to keep this core player base that they have... We almost rolled over. If they want to keep this core player base that they have, they're going to they're gonna stick with that philosophy um, that has made their game great. Now, another thing, another actually really important thing uh, regarding the game in, uh, in particular... Well, actually, more regarding this game, uh, Spin Tires as a whole is, well, the older version of Spin Tires, is the fact that, yes, this game will stop getting updates. So, you're going to, if you want to stay up to date with the series and with the game, you're going to have to uh, get Mud Runner. But, the cool thing about that is that if you already own Spin Tires, the, the original, then you're going to get until, I believe, until the end of October, uh, it's like 55% off Spin Tires Mud Runner on Steam, which is, like, a freaking amazing deal. Like, Honestly, I feel like the game is going to be worth it even at like, you know, the full price, but like dude, getting it at 55% off, like if you if you already own the first game is like is an awesome way of them saying, "Hey, you played the first one, come have fun in the second one. Go ahead." And I think that's that's just that's just awesome. Now they have switched publishers, which is why the original the original game will not be getting any more support or any more updates. So like after the new game comes out, so that's that's why. Um, in case you were wondering that, but those are some of the main things that like I think I think that everybody wanted to kind of know or or if you didn't know, uh, kind of wanted to go over. Now also keep in mind if you wanted to check this out, like some of these things out in more in more detail, there'll be a link again to the article that was posted on Spin Tires NL uh, in the description below that I talked about at the beginning of the video, but my biggest things with the game are as long as they don't push the release back too far, I think it's going to be fine. Um, if they keep pushing it back, that might get a little sketchy because I feel like they might miss out on some really good stuff if they, if they like push it back and push it back and push it back and push it back. That would not be good for them, um, but why are we stuck here all of a sudden? That's not cool, bruh. Not cool, dude. If we can kind of get out of here, that would be absolutely, like, the thing. But no, um, 
keeping with what we were talking about before, um, as long as they as long as they stay on target with that release date, it should be fine. Um, but if they keep pushing it back and pushing it back and pushing it back like further and further and further, then they might start to get into weird territory and they might start to have some issues. Um, by the way, I'm gonna switch into the other Jeep, which is. This Jeep is weird because it's longer than, or at least it looks longer to me than like a normal YJ that it's based on. It looks like it's got a longer wheelbase, but at the same time, YJs have weird wheelbases, so uh, that might be just me. Oh, oh, what? Are you kidding me? No, you're not kidding me. Holy hell, that's not right. <laughs> that is not right. Oh, God. Oh dear God, <laughs> that's amazing. It's a YJFJ40. <laughs> yeah, one of those, bro. Gotta get your hands on one, I've heard they're great. But no, uh, <laughs> continuing on. Um, I think a big thing with the game too is like, you know, people wanted to know about mods because, you know, if you're not gonna be modding the game, then what's the point in like, a lot of, for a lot of people it's like, if you're not gonna be modding the game, what's the point in playing it? Um, because a lot of people, they just play this game for the mods and for the mods only because off-roading is fun. And off-roading in the sense of just exploring maps, going off-road, mudding, climbing, rock crawling, that kind of stuff. This Jeep is way too low. It needs more lift. More lift and bigger freaking tires. And a suspension that's got at least a little bit of give to it. This suspension is so rock hard. Yeah, that kind of, that, that sucks. I am not about a suspension that's that freaking solid. A suspension does not need to be that solid, especially on a Jeep. Like, damn. I've seen race cars with with softer suspension. Uh, we may want to go this way, but at the same time, I feel like we're in a weird area of the map that's not supposed to be driven in. Um, I think it's kind of one of those things where we're like, well... We found this area, now I kind of want to explore it and see what's up here. In regards again though to Mud Runner, everything, virtually literally every, like, everything is going to be better than this game. They've improved upon the graphics, they've improved upon the physics, they've improved upon uh, like the, the way the game functions, like the literally, literally every part of the game has been upgraded. They've taken it and literally rebuilt it from the ground up. Like there's... There's almost nothing left untouched. I don't think there's really anything that's been left untouched in the transition from Spin Tires to Mud Runner. I almost said from Spin Tires 1 to Spin Tires 2, but that's technically what it is, right? It's technically Spin Tires 1 and Spin Tires 2. But, I mean, they really, they could have called it Spin Tires 2, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like, you know, a, a unique name like Mud Runner is a good idea, and it was a good idea on their part, but... At the same time, you know, I, I I wonder why they didn't call it Spin Tires 2, because, eh, I feel like a lot of people would have responded very well to Spin Tires, just Spin Tires 2, but, I don't know, at the same time, you gotta think, like, their, their motives for the name may have had, you know, something to do with the new, uh, the new mechanics they have in the game, or the way the new game works. This area of the map is weird, man. Like, it's really weird. There's just like nothing out here except for these big clearings I don't know super funky yeah super funky area of the map not honestly quite sure what to make of it it's almost kind of Jurassic Park ish like because you have to explore it you have to explore it and you kind of there's areas where you have to go off the beaten path to get to where you to get to where you're going it's almost like you know what these almost look like to me big campsites or even like abandoned home sites almost. Does that like does it does it strike it as being that way to you guys? Oh, high is not fast. High range is slow in this thing. Really slow. Oh, we are going the right way though. I just wanted to make sure we were going the proper direction. But in conclusion, to wrap up my little talk about Spin Tires Mud Runner, I think that the the overall consensus that I have on Mud Runner is that it's gonna be a it's gonna be it's going to be a much better version of what we already have here. And I was, I think the biggest thing for me is I'm just so grateful to see the fact that mods are just going to be coming in straight away. Um, the fact that mods are here straight away is 100% like the best thing ever in my book. And I can't wait to see that, you know, 
to see that actually mean uh, mean a lot to this new game. I mean, I think because I think it's going to mean a lot to the new game, and I think it's going to be a big deal uh, for them to have day one mods. And having those mods available straight off the bat, like I said, I think is going to really um, encourage a lot of people to get on board with this game. Because, I mean, uh, for sure, like, I already am, and I... Honestly, I, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be behind this game if I didn't think it was going to be really good. And trust me, I think it's going to be awesome. I haven't played it or anything like that yet, but I like I said, I think it's going to be an absolute beast of a game. And you know what? Actually, this oh, I was about to give this Jeep a compliment. I was about to give this Jeep a compliment on its hill climbing skills, and then I stopped because it 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 it, it went wrong. <laughs> Actually, oh 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 oh, come on, Jeep! Yes. Oh, you've got it. Dude, you have absolutely got it. Oh my god, there's the hill climb we were looking for. There's the hill climb we were looking for, people. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. So high is the equivalent of second, basically. God, what's on the other side of this hill? This map is so dang huge. It's oh, wait. What? Oh, no, you know why it looks like that? Because we're looking out into nothingness. So there's a lot of... N oh my god, there's a lot of nothing on this map. There's a lot of cool stuff over here, and then out here it's just like... Loneliness. <laughs> it's just like loneliness out here, like... Look, it's all just woods. But again, um, that has been my take on the latest news on Spin Tires Mud Runner. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later. See you guys next time.